Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNokWan, and welcome back to episode 5 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and once again, we are going for a purity victory. Last time, some shit went down. Um, the PAC went crazy on us. Uh, they dropped this forward city, Gensrig, and it is my hopes that we will not let this thing survive. Um, some other stuff I've noticed since the last episode, because now and then I do a little bit of a intake of what happened, um, is when I click quest in victory, I got another quest here. They're uh, affinity related quests. This one's solitude. Your citizens are growing fond of this world. Perhaps more knowledge can be gained by living closer to it. Find one city next to miasma. Now, I've actually only ever gotten this quest once before. It's a fairly infrequent quest. Um, maybe some of you guys out there have had better luck with quests like these. But I haven't actually had a quest like this in a while. So we have a colonist coming out in six turns. Well, what my original plan was is to put a city down right here. And there's a miasma tile right there. So I figure, hell, we'll just keep going with that plan and see what happens. I forget if it's a harmony-only quest, if you can make it some other, you know, affinity-related quest. We'll find out. Six turns. Before then, we actually have to wipe out Gansrig. Um, they're posing a major problem to us. As we see here, the PAC is leading the world. They are... This is scary. We don't want a world led by the PAC. And here's way else down at the bottom. Uh, the PAC has caused trouble for us. They are dominating the local region. I'm sure they probably have another city over here helping their titanic levels of growth. We have to stop it once and for all. we got to shut Gansrig down. We've got to put pressure on Tiangong. So let's do that. Right now, these units here are fairly injured. They need to heal up. So, let's send this raptor bug. Uh, where do we want to send him? Why not just down here? It's good miasma, or... Hmm, let's just go right here for now. Well, that's actually in range of a gunner. That's bad. Uh, a ranger. He should be fine, though. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to heal him up. Let's get these guys healing. We will have clone echo become a veteran. Excellent, and let's have Inglorious Eagles just hold position. Sinister Ones will open fire. And do what they can do. Alrighty, let's move up the other units. Let's get Dark Guard up there. And this worker has finished on the Titanium Mine. Let's get him working on this Chitin right here. It's a very excellent tile, and especially now that we have plus one culture on it, so just as soon as Janali is finished, it'll be able to acquire this chitin, and that'll be an excellent, excellent tile. Alright, Kavitha wants a friendship. Alright, I'm not opposed to that. We really, really have to wipe out Ganserig. And so they're firing back on us. Alrighty here. Sinister Ones here has two kills, and they're actually pretty close. Six experience away from level three. Um, whereas Iron Ravagers here only have no kills and are at least the first level. Alright, so let's go ahead and confirm a second kill here. Or a first kill for them, I suppose. Give them some nice XP. Heal Sinister Ones up. And let's get the Dark Guard full health as well. Um, our units heal so quickly. Let's have the Raptor Bug heal up. Keep mind, we do have some time here to deal... Uh, to just heal up before we go and push on Gansring. It will take them a fair while to reinforce the, and ga gain these extra tiles around Gansring. But what, do I, what I really want to avoid is this combat strength of the city getting so high that we can't possibly deal with it. Um, but for now, uh, let's just move Dark Guard up more, get to the rough squad, out further, and just have the rest of these units fortify. Now, the Raptor Bug should heal uh, 20 turn in Miasma due to all of our upgrades. So, Janali is officially a city. That happened. Okay, so Trade Depot here. Notice that Trade Depot is coming out so, so quick because of our Titanium Mine and some of our virtues. We have standardized architecture in addition to engineers. That's obscene. Okay, Tama is on the same page as us. Good to know. And Kavitha wants open borders. That is not happening. I tend not to give open borders unless I really genuinely need it for some of my expansion plans. And that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Um, so, we might actually want to pursue a direct attack on them, or trying to heal somewhere else. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm gonna keep healing, um, and I will move in with a gunner and fire back. That's not a bad plan. You guys are at 90. Let's heal them up to full. Heal these ones up to full. And then we'll push in with these units. Clone Echo will send in next turn. They basically have full health. They're pulling an additional Ranger down. They could have another attack force coming, but I'm a little doubtful. We did wipe out most of their force. Alright, so they're firing on the, uh, the gunner now. Okay. Uh, no war for us. Our units heal up. Wonderful. Okay then, so Dark Guard can continue to fire back on this Ranger. And our Raptor Bug can keep killing. Let's send Clone Echo in. Put some pressure on him. The Inglorious Eagles will keep healing. They look fine for now. And let's get Rough Squad in there. As well as the Sinister Ones and Iron Ravagers. Raptor Bug Nameless, let's just have him keep healing up. Alright, they're trying to really do some damage here. Don't know how well they're going to succeed in that effort. Let's pull Dark Guard out. Um, actually, yes. And move the Rough Squad in. And get this skill here. Oh, we actually didn't get the kill. Let's have the Raptor Bug finish healing. And while we're at it, move Clone Echo into that marsh. Alright, Inglorious Eagles will be healed by next turn. We'll be able to move them in, and for now, let's move Sinister Ones in to be able to shoot on Ganzerig. Alright, that's good. And that's fine. Alright, so our worker in Ayan finished a floodplain, uh, what do you call it? A floodplain farm. And let's just get another one rolling. These are excellent, excellent tiles. Make sure everything's assigned right. Um, I'd rather that tile be worked, honestly. Let's lock it in. I like growth. I like to make sure to tell my cities to grow, especially when they don't want to. Uh, it's very important. The only exceptions are like when I have titanium mine as my first tile. Um, especially on a grassland, that's not too bad. Two food, as opposed to this one extra food here, and you get five uh, additional bolts. Hands down, an easy choice for me. Alright, so we actually pulled off back into the center across the river. And we can move forward right here, and right here. Let's move our marine a little closer, and I think I have a little bit of some troops around. It doesn't really scare me all that much. Can we get a raptor bug in on this? Yes. Um, but, jeez. Alright, so we should be able to get two gunner fires a turn. I'd like to have three. You know what, we might be able to just take out Gansrig in just two turns with three shots and a marine across the river. Shouldn't be too worrisome. Um, let's have our raptor bug on station if we need to pull back our marine for any reason. And heal up the dark guard. And there seems to be a lone worker here we can capture with the inglorious eagle, so why not? Alright, let's seize an enemy worker. Put him to good work. You can always use more workers, especially as we have a colonist coming out in one turn. Let's get sinister ones firing on Gansrig. Gansrig will pay for the fall of time. They will pay. They want a peace treaty. That is not happening, madame. Ooh, they are moving in. Looks like they have a bit of a combat rover. I uh, am confident in the strength of Clone Echo. They should be fine. Um, I'm surprised we can't take them out this turn, in fact. Hopefully, Clone Echo should even survive this. Um, a, a possible counterattack on the enemy turn. I'm not worried so much. Goodbye, Ganzerik. That is the revenge our people deserve. Let's get our Inglorious Eagles up there. And block off a possible counterattack from the Comet Rover by moving our Raptor Bug in. I don't think you can move all that direction. Especially because that's a marsh. Okay, we're good. Um... Dark Guard here could open fire on this Siege Worm right here. You know, I'm just going to leave that Siege Worm alone unless we have something significant to gain from its death, which we don't at the moment. So we did finish the Recycler and Ayan, which is quite good. Um, 
what is the next obvious choice here? I really like clinics early to get your health up. That is two free health, so why not? I, I, I want to avoid really going to like negative 20 all too quickly. If I can stave that off for as long as possible, that is preferable. All right, so we finished the, uh, the paddock here. Let's go ahead and build a farm right here. Five turns, we'll have another person and he'll definitely work that tile. Okay, so I could attack here. Um, that invites a counterattack. I'm not really opposed to that idea of having like split damage on all my units. So, you know what? For the hell of it, let's do it. Worst case scenario, they hit us back and hit us and hit us. Um, could they do a third attack? Maybe. I'm a little doubtful as to their killability though. Alright, so using this worker, we could probably finish some of these roads. Um, between where we want to put Tan and this new city. So let's go ahead and move that up there and move across the river here to build some of these roads. Let's see what the alien counter, sorry, the PAC counterattack is. Looks like the Packer engaging a bit of a siege worm. A bit of a siege worm problem. That's very loud. Let's zoom out a little bit. Oh boy. They are firing on our marine. I think he's gonna hold out just fine. All right, we do have to get him out though. No miasma there, it's an excellent exit. So let's get Clone Echo out. Okay, so the Siege Room has moved towards the Dark Guard. Let's put the Dark Guard out this way. Let's get Iron Ravagers this way and evac with Clone Echo that way. I might just hold my ground here. Um, hmm. The Rangers are a bit of an issue. I guess we can just maintain... Yeah, let's definitely get Inglorious Eagles up there and put some pressure on this enemy front. Um, I might... I'm considering a bit of a pullback. I'm not totally opposed. No, let's just let's condense in this region over here. Force them to either cross the river to hit me or move in through the north where we have superior firepower. I really hope this siege room isn't going to be an issue. Okay, let's fortify. Get this worker to finish that road. Get this guy right in position. Next turn, we will settle down the new ton. Alright, we got our trade depot. Let's get a recycler. Oh, I love this production. Please just move away, Mr. Siege Worm. We don't want to fight you. Oh boy, okay, that's, that's not the worst possible outcome there. Um, Alright, let's just get this marine to the marsh, and we can pull this guy out and settle down. It is next to Miasma, but I don't think it'll finish this quest until it considers uh, that Tabo is done. So Tabo has... Yeah, that's the city that destroyed, not Tan, I'm sorry. Oh well, so Tabo will regrow. We will regain our glorious city from the PAC after we have destroyed Gansrig. Let's go ahead and get the Dark Guard to heal up. Clone Echo really needs those heals too. Come on, just move that way, Mr. Siege Worm. Nobody wants to fight. Thank you. No one wants to fight you right now. Alright, let's get Inglorious Eagles into this forest and secure a forward. Looks like they got a bit of a soldier. Some soldiers. I don't think any of them can actually hit this guy. So let's move Rush Squad in and take out one of their rangers. Alright, let's secure this forward hill. And hopefully, if they try to do any pushes this way, two gunners will keep them at bay. Alright, so this worker. Let's finish that road. Let's see if we can't move him down here and finish the road entirely. Right, there we go. Now the road to Tabo is done. Um, all right, I think we can probably just finish this road. And besides a couple of village roads here, the path all the way down to Yan looks clear. Um, Ninit Tin is still going to be an issue, a strategic location we'd I like to eventually destroy. I don't actually like this lo city location. It's pretty bad. The only reason the AI can get away with it is because the AI cheats. Let's see what the counterattack is over here. All right, they're pulling back. That's a good sign. Um, we have clearly shown superiority in their region. 
<laughs> to use some uh, political stuff, political language, and we got another cultural tenant. All right, so what what to do here? We could grab network data links and go down to MemeWeb eventually to get some increased, uh, you know, science and culture, or more techs and more virtues, really. Um, given the number of cities we'd like to have. Or we could put another into industry and grab our five synergy for 10% extra energy in every city. Um, that would also be pretty good because we could grab profiteering and get us extra health from our trade units, which is never bad. Or we could go ahead and grab five energy in the capital. That would get us one closer to this synergy bonus right here. Um, Realistically, are we going to be able to actually even get that? Not unless we get into prosperity and grab like these two. But I don't see that happening anytime soon. So profiteering might look like the best option. Um, yeah. I like it. So let's go ahead and do that. That gives us plus 10% energy, bringing our economy up just that little bit that we need. And we finished our pharma lab in Magan. Good stuff. Let's grab a cyto nursery now. We need the health. We need all the health we can. Why not just build this road? So, I do not want to actually push in too close to Tiangong just yet. Um, having Tabo up might be very helpful in this. So the problem is, is that, as we saw down with the Siege Worm down here, the PAC clearly have uh, tack jets. They are air mobilized. And this is really, really bad because the AI actually knows how to use their air units in this game. They will single out your critical units that you need for an invasion, you know, your melee units that are a little bit injured, and they'll hit them with two rangers and three tack jets, and that unit will be gone. Will their air force be injured? Yes. Will you be able to finish that assault? No. So their air units will heal up, they'll be just fine. Um, so, unless we have an overwhelming force, Tiangong's not going to go down. That's typically how warfare on cities works in this game, and honestly, these cities have so much combat strength, it's kind of unimaginable that we'd be able to kill them. So, Pretty sure the range on attack jets is about four, so that's the radius we have to stay away from these from Tiangong. So one, two, three, four. This is the death line. You you don't want to cross this. Um, you can go into it if you can walk out in the next turn. But that's about it. Our gunners have a little bit more autonomy in that mission because they do have the extra protection against ranged. So let's go ahead and move up here, and we might be able to shoot on the pack ranger next turn. Let's get this gunner this way. Each one or stuff in fortified, intelligent places. And keep everything nice and fortified. Alright, so we finished this farm down here. Let's go ahead and grab this desert hill. I'd like to make that into a mine. As I think we're good on the food front right now. Yeah, we're growing in one turn. So. And we do have two farms already. This wouldn't be a bad improvement. A little bit down more down the line. Robots do not complain, question, or rest, which makes them good role models for the so rest robotics of is excellent because the auto plant is excellent, and also tack jets are super, super important, as we just said. Um, geez, do I want to really kill a siege worm? It wouldn't be bad. It would give you, it would give me a lot of culture, a lot of short-term energy, um, maybe a little bit of science. I'd really need to dedicate all my rangers, um, or gunners, I mean. Wouldn't be too bad of an investment, but I don't know. I kind of want to hold the line and see if we can build a bit of a military strike force if we need it. So I can move in and kill this guy right now. Um, kind of want to see what my options are. I didn't reveal anything additional. He, he will have full health, so I'm not too, too worried about a total counterattack unless there's something right there. Uh, let's pull back. Let's be a little cautious. Alright, so we can actually engage this guy with the Marine, but let's shoot him first. The reason is because I don't actually expect to win that fight. I expect to just do damage. Yeah, and I don't think we're in the range of any attack jets, so we're just doing damage at this point to this unit. Get us a little more experience points on the Inglorious Eagles and all of our gunners as well. Alright, so Ayan has finished the clinic. And that is looking good. Only seven unhealth right now. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and grab the vivarium for extra growth. And then maybe we'll consider the lab right thereafter. Alrighty, so we did finish robotics here. So as far as tech is concerned, uh, we have a few issues facing us. Um, we do have two harmony. 
So Alien Sciences is available to us for everything that's in it. The problem is we don't actually have any improvements on any of the cities that we do have up um, on the Xenomass tiles quite yet. So Tabo will eventually get it um, with this Xenomass down here. Janali will eventually get it with this Xenomass right there. Um, Ayan doesn't look like it's going to get any Xenomass. Uh, that's not too much of a worry. A city down here might get some Xenomass. So this isn't too, too important right now. Uh, what is important is getting more purity points in the long run. That's always important, especially with the Gene Garden, which I consider an excellent, excellent building for both building your economy, getting extra science and extra health. It's personally my favorite early game building besides these two. These two are obscene. So yeah, in the order of like awesomeness, it's the Xeno Nursery, the Xeno Fuel Plant, and the Gene Garden, just like all bunched together at the top. Um, for that, we need something like Alien Genetics. Uh, this goes well with our, you know, this push down here. We get extra science on the Xenomass Wells as well. Alternatively, we go Bionics for the Institute and Bio Wells. Now, the problem is I don't think, you know, food is going to be much of an issue. We don't really have any Tundra Cities yet. We could consider that, but uh, it's just not too, too important right now. I'm thinking probably Genetics and then picking up Alien Genetics thereafter is a good plan. So let's go ahead with that. Genetics, once we can build the Gene Garden, will really, you know, it'll give a kick to our... Also, yeah, the Clone Plant is also excellent for Harmony. So, yeah, and everything that we have so far. So, you know what, let's just go with Genetic Design. It's not bad. Build that mine there. And the road is done. Um, I'm not going to venture this worker too far towards the PAC territory, because they might just kill it or retake it. Um, so, instead, let's have this road to uh, Magan finished, because that is actually costing us some good energy right there, and finishing it will replenish that to our economy, which is a little negative right now. We're in a bit of a deficit. Alright, so they did pull out. Let's go ahead and fortify these guys. Same here. We can open fire on this guy. This is defense spending through and through. Alright, far raptor bug alert. So we finished our farm in this guy, so we can... Oh, we have another paddock right over there. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's focus that in this guy. And really get pumping on food. And then let's get our worker over there to improve that. I'm working it anyways. So clone echo is fully healed. So let's pull out the raptor bug and send in clone echo right there. And we can move the Iron Ravagers in. We could target that worm. That could buy. That could be something to spend some of our time doing with some of our gunners. Um, but there's not very much mobility to kind of kite it. So that's just what I'm a little worried about. Let's build this road now. We will hit 10 size in Magan very soon. It's quite good. All right, so 10 size in this game means that your trade depot allows you to get two trade routes instead of one. Now that's very good. Um, so, we can either go auto plant right now, which is good, or you know what, he heck, no, screw it, let's get trade depots. Uh, sorry, trade convoys. We haven't built any yet. And that's probably because, no, it's definitely because the war kind of got in our way. Um, as it stands, we can probably build a trade route from Magan to Tabo, Magan to Janali, Janali to Tabo, and maybe, you know, something from Ayan to you know, Jimbuba and the Plysterillians. That would not be a bad idea. Um, yeah, because as it stands, we can hold one, two, three, four trade routes. Uh, five when Tabo is done. And it's kind of bad that we haven't built them so far, but I can kind of justify it with the war and all. Okay, so they did move this ranger into range. So we're going to totally wipe them out if we can. Let's get seasoned on Rough Squad. Open fire on this. And then with the Dark Guard, we will see if we can finish them off. Nope, we can do some damage, though. We'll probably get Veterancy on Dark Guard. Alrighty. Um, so, I could try to piss this guy off. Um, I don't want to do it with my back face in the ocean, so you know what? Let's just hold out on that. It's a bit of a sketchy okay. idea until you really have stronger units anyways. Or if you're just shooting with a city. It's always a bat. It's always a good... Uh, prospect right there. Alright, so we finished the Recycler in Janali, meaning we do have now 
um, really high production here. But it looks like time is up for this episode, guys. So, to see how we deal with the PAC and this basically no man's land right between us and Tiangong, and how our economy will handle stuff and what's going to happen, you'll have to check in next time. So, until then, guys, take care.